بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين One of the questions we often get asked is how does one treat their employees as a business owner or as a manager in an organization? What does Islam say about the treatment of one's employees? Well, it's quite simple. Treat them with respect. Exactly how you would like to be treated. How you, as an employee, would like to be treated by your uh, manager. So once you learn to respect others, you yourself will gain respect. It's a common known fact that respect is not demanded. It is earned. History is filled with individuals that try to demand respect. And on, to this day, be that Islamic history or non-Islamic history, those individuals are remem remembered with hatred. Nobody remembers them for anything good because they demanded respect from people. Not, they, they had not earned that respect. So what does Ahlul Bayt salam, say in this regard? I'll give you four salient points from the Imams salam, specifically Amir al-Mu'mineen on how we treat those individuals that are beneath us in an organization. Now this is part of a sermon that Imam Ali salam, gives to his people while he's the Khalifa explaining his role towards them and their role towards him. But he first focuses on his role, what he must do for them. He says the first thing is that they as the people, and we can apply this to our employees, must receive honest advice. So as a leader, as a manager, as an employer, I need to be willing to give honest advice, friendly advice to those that are underneath me. The second thing is pay the full dues when they are due. Salaries, uh, other things that a person is eligible for, don't wait. In fact, the narrations, when they talk about salaries, they say that the payment of a person that has worked for you must be given straight away so fast that even the sweat upon his forehead should not have dried. So pay up when it's time to pay up. Don't delay. Pay the full dues of your employees, of those that are underneath you. The third thing it, the Imam says is educating the masses in order for them to leave ignorance. As an employer with employees underneath me, I need to think about educating my workforce. Now at times, we become afraid as employers that if I educate this person, if I teach them something, they'll end up leaving me. But in reality, rizq lies in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not in my hands. So as an employer, what my responsibility is, is to educate my workforce to help them leave ignorance. The ignorance of something in that particular business that they didn't know. And then the last thing, the fourth thing that Amir al-Mu'mineen says is that once you have taught them, then train them so that they remember that which you have taught. And again, the same thing applies with training. We think if we train someone up, for example, in a coffee shop to make an amazing coffee, that one day they're just going to up and leave and go to another coffee shop and steal all my ideas. But in reality, when we break it down, there is a possibility that that will happen. But if you have given an individual the respect that they deserve, you in turn will earn their respect and their loyalty. And at the same time, you will not have infringed the right of another human being. As well as that, you will have made your Lord happy. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.